Hi everybody, Cycle Warrior here from C++ Better Explained and in today's special video we're going to be breaking down my most popular article that I've got on my website and that gets, that, and get, that gets searched a lot on the internet as well. And my most popular article on my website is Implementing the Casino Game Roulette in C++. So in today's special video we're going to be breaking down the source code of, of implementation of Roulette in C++. But before we get into the breakdown of the source code of implementing Roulette in C++, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sahil Bora and I'm the founder and author of the C++ Better Explained book. And if you have not yet, please click on the red button down below to subscribe to, subscribe to the latest videos of the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel. So. Roulette and C++. What we're going to be doing today in, in, in this implementation of Roulette and C++, uh, the overall hierarchy of, of, the, of the implementation is that what's going to happen is that it's going to, it's going to start the game and then the user is going to, is going to is the, the player is going to input how much money they want to bet and then the, what, what's going to happen is there's going to be a decision, decision statement to see whether they want to either bet on a, on a number either black or red, or either if they want to bet on either even and odd. We're only going to be doing, we're, we're only going to be allowing the, the players to select one of, the, one of the three because this implementation is only going to be a basic uh, command, ca command line interface uh, game impl implementation. I can't, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the time to implement a full, a full roulette game with, with, with GUI elements, unfortunately, due to my uh, schedule of full time work and, and starting up and, and running another and building up building up another startup as, as well at the moment as well as running this business I'm just struck for time and I do have to admit is that the source code you're at, you're at CNX was actually optimized by another person uh, as well so I'm so happy that it came out well uh, I originally did start this code myself but actually somebody else did actually finish it so we're actually going to be actually going to be breaking down both myself and the other person's work that, that helped me implement this roulette game in C++. So, let's get into the source code breakdown inside Visual Studio. Okay, so here we are inside Visual Studio of our implementation of roulette in C++. So to start off with, we've got our header files that we've got to find up, up the, at the very top. So we've got um, IO stream, the string header file, IO map in, STD LAB, and C time. So I so we're using the I we're using the IO stream header file obviously for 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 input and output in C and we've also got C time and STD LAB. So with line number eight, C time. We, the reason why we're using C time is because we want to use we want to generate the random numbers. Uh, inside C++, so that, hence why we use the the, um, the C time uh, header file. So if we scroll down, we've got we've got our setup here. So we've got a constant variable here called min number and max number. So the reason that the reason why that we have a constant there is because we we want to, we, we want those those minimum and maximum numbers to remain consistent th throughout the entire uh, th throughout the entire duration of of, of the game. And then we've got uh, setting up the the, the, the the number inputted in the, the random number, and then uh, how much money that the user has, and what they're starting with. And then we've got uh, we've got the char values for the for the player decisions. And then we've got uh, the main the main menu screen setup. So it's going to print um, "Welcome to Roulette," and then it's going to be asking the user how much money do we actually want to want to start with. And then after after it's um, uh, after the user has inputted how much money they, they want to start with, then it's going to ask the user how much they would like to bet uh, in in the game. So after that, so we've got a while loop here to to to, to ask the user how much they would like to bet, and then using the the uh, the, the C in line here on line number forty two, the user will input input in how much they would like to bet. And it's just going to make, sh and we're using a while loop here just to make sure that it's uh, that it's that it's a, it's a correct value that it's not that it's not um, over the limit of, of how much they've they've put into bet, and then it's going to get into the into the nitty gritty side of what game type 
is does the, does the player what actually want to play? Do they want to actually bet on a specific number? Do they actually want to bet on an auto even number, or do they, do they want to bet on either black or red uh, as as option number three? So the user will be able to select uh, the specific game type they want to play in this in this in this roulette game scenario. So either one one of the three that they can choose. So then after they've they've chosen uh, what that what particular type. Uh, what they what they want to put, place their bet on for, for the roulette game is that after they've done that, it, w- it will go into into the specific type of of bet that they're able to able to place. So if they're p- p- placing a number a number bet, it's actually it's then it's going to be asking the user what number they want that they either want to bet on, and then it does the decision statement here where it, where it generates a random number. And then it sees whether the, either either the, the player either wins or loses with the with the with where where the number has landed on the board. If the user selects even or odd, it's either going to either the, the it's it's going to use the random function to to calculate whether it's the whether the the uh, the, the, the token has either landed on a, on an odd or even number. And then it checks whether to see whether whether the user has either has either landed on even or odd, uh, and then it does, calculates the earnings from, from from the from the winnings or or the loss made. And then finally, it checks whether to see uh, after the user has inputted either black or red, it it calculates to see whether it's actually landed on either black or red. Uh, and then, so, so so to check, so to calculate whether it's it's landed on black, it's going to check for any of these numbers have landed on on black. If it lands on any of these numbers that I've that I've highlighted here, uh, as we're using an, uh, a large or statement here, it will say that the user has won. If it doesn't land on any of these numbers, uh, then then the, then the user has has lost has lost the game. And then after after the, they've either won or lost, it's going to come up with the final. It's going to come up with this with this question whether they want to keep 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 playing or stop uh, playing, and then it will show the final results of how much they either won or how much they lost at the very end of the game, at the end of the game when they've stopped playing. So there you have it, guys. That is a very basic implementation of implementing roulettes in C plus plus. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this 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 source code breakdown uh, breakdown of implementing roulette in C plus plus, and if this video has helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button down below to help with the YouTube algorithm.